Hello, my name is Ikel O'Harrod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. And today we are dropping into Novel Crafter. I've been working on my novel. It's called <laughs> Rahim's Big Adventure or Jump Box Origins. It's the kind of beginning nugget of a whole universe. In working on that scene, I have realized that I actually have a really tight way of crafting a scene inside of Novel Crafter. And I'm gonna actually show you while I work on one of the scenes, the scene that starts out the chapter, chapter 10, the goodbye sequence of my intrepid traveler, Rahim Ramos, Dr. Rahim Ramos, as he comes close to the end of his journey. He starts saying goodbye to people and stuff like that. Let's take a look at exactly what I've crafted so far, as far as the outline for the scene. We will sh I will show you what I use inside of Novel Crafter to actually move that along. So let's jump right in. This is Novel Crafter, but what we're doing is we're punching in right here, and I'm going to read to you the scenes as I see them in my head. This is what I just worked on in my actual live stream with a whole bunch of people watching me. I worked on this. This is exactly the way I want the scene to unfold, the drama I want to happen. Chapter 10, The Journey Home, Scene 1, Preparations. The next morning, Rahim prepares to leave, walking the property at sunrise. Rahim stares at the jump box in contemplation, heads back in the cabin and packs for departure. The alien family gathers to see him off, each offering a small token of remembrance. The oldest boy gives Rahim the charger. Rahim takes another selfie with the family. Rahim and Lysander walk to the field where he first arrived on the property the jump box humming with energy in his hands as if it knows it's about to be used. That's the essence of the whole scene. I want to chat with this scene. The only way you can chat with this scene inside of Novel Crafter is to hit the actions button for the actual scene. You could chat with the chapter maybe? Can you chat with the chapter? Let's see. Um, I don't think you can. Can you chat split into new act? Export chapter? No, you cannot chat with the chapter. That would be a lot. <laughs> that would be a lot. Right here is actions, and I'm going to click on actions, and you'll see here inside of actions, I've actually got the ability to chat with the scene. I'm going to start this one up. We're in chat right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this particular AI over to Claude 3.5 Sonnet because I like the way it attacks the style that I've kind of built up through time. I'm also going to go down the context, and it's going to give me the context for this specific scene, right? Right there. But I also want it to have full knowledge of the entire book because it's got a context window that should be able to do that. And then I also want it to have want, want it to have context of the full novel because it has a large enough context window for that also. What we're gonna do now is chat with it. Let's let's have a conversation. Tell me a little bit about this scene. And in doing that and having it tell me a little bit about the scene. I give it an opportunity to kind of analyze what its context is. Let's take a quick read of that. I'm going to put my glasses on. The scene 10, the journey home scene one is likely to focus on Rahim's preparation for his return journey home. Based on the previous chapters, we know expect the following elements, waking up one last morning, final preparation for the journey, emotional goodbyes to Lysander's family, Rahim reflecting on his incredible journey, possibly last minute doubts. Rahim gathering any souvenirs or evidence he can take to Earth to prove his extraordinary experience. The scene is likely a pivotal moment in the story bridging Rahim's alien adventure with his impending return to his normal life while setting up the tension for the actual journey home. Give me a summary. Okay, now we're going to give me a summary. This is all I, I like it. I like to know 
what it thinks of this scene. Here's a summary. Raheem wakes up on his final morning in the alien planet, feeling a mix of excitement, apprehension about returning home. As he prepares for his departure, he takes a last walk around Lysander's property, soaking in the alien landscape at sunrise. Back in the cabin. Back at the cabin, Raheem packs his meager belongings, including his now charged iPhone filled with photographic evidence of his journey. He has a heartfelt conversation with Lysander about the mechanics of using the box to return home. With Lysander reassuring him, he reflects on his incredible adventure, how it will change his life back on Earth. Standing at the departure point, Raheem holds the box, feeling both nervous and determined. He's always nervous and determined. Lysander gives final instructions. That is too much. Let the scene end with the arrival of Lysander and Rahim to the center of the field. The jump box will just sort of light up really quickly and hum as if it knows it's about to be used. And then that's the end of the scene. So here's the revised summary. Rahim wakes up. It's important that you kind of have a conversation and go back and forth and back and forth with the actual AI when you're chatting with. This way you know that it's going to kind of hit all the beats that you want, all of the places that you want when you actually get it to generate some prose as an example for this uh, particular scene. And then you can decide whether or not you want to even take those pros and move further on with them. But this is extremely important that you kind of have the summary, the exact way that you want the scene to unfold firmly in the AI's mind, because otherwise it's going to write too much stuff and write its way into it, into the next scene. And sometimes you don't want it to write its way into the next scene. Now we have the summary. The cube begins to glow hummingly, emitting a soft humming sound as if it knows it's about to be used. That works. Now, write a example of the scene in my style. Now it should, because it has this knowledge and everything and the context of this chat, it should actually work, kind of render out a full scene. It did. It says chapter 10, the journey home, scene one. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. The cube suddenly hummed to life, glowing with an inner light that seemed to pulse in time with Rahim's racing heart, which it loves to have things pulsing, which means this is gonna have to be edited, but that's okay. Let's see here. Let's read this, why don't we? The alien dawn painted the sky in hues Rahim had no words for, colors that shouldn't exist outside of a fever dream or a particularly ambitious Baton catalog. He stood on the porch of Lysander's cabin, clutching a mug of something that tasted like coffee, but smelled like a symphony. Taking it all in, Lysander's melodic voice drifted from behind him. Rahim nodded, not trusting his voice. How do you say goodbye to a world that shouldn't exist? Back inside, Rahim packed his meager belongings, his phone now fully charged thanks to alien tech that could make Apple weep, was crammed with impossible photos. He patted his pocket, feeling the weight of the iridescent pebble the small creature had gifted him days ago. Quill bounced into the room, a blur of purple energy. I paid you this. Smile, Rahim called out, holding up his phone. The resulting selfie looked like a poster for the world's smallest family sitcom. <laughs> As Rahim and Lysander set off to the for off for the field, the weight <laughs> the weight of the moment settled over him over them. Rahim's mind, that, that's a cliche, the weight, the, everything's weighted. The Allfathers, ancient alien civilizations, the vast network of jump boxes scattered across the galaxy. It was almost too much to process. You know, Rahim said, breaking the comfortable silence. Back home, I was considered a bit out there. Now I feel like the sanest man in the universe. Lysander's laugh sounded like wind chimes in a summer breeze. Perhaps sanity, like so much else, is relative. He reached the center of the field, alien grass crunching softly beneath his feet. 
Rahim pulled out the jump box, its emerald surface cool against his palms. The cube suddenly hummed to life, glowing with an inner light that seemed to pulse with Rahim's racing heart. Rahim and Lysander exchanged a look of surprise and anticipation. The jump box thrummed between them, eager to bridge the vast distances of space once more. Now, see, this is where I would say to it, let's approach the scene from a different angle. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, let us approach this from a different angle. Try again. Okay. Now it's thinking, certainly. Rahim's eyes fluttered open, his body still nestled in the living moss bed that had cradled him from the past uh, for the past few nights. The air tasted differently this morning, sweeter, almost wistful. Or maybe that was just his imagination. He dressed slowly, savoring every moment. His fingers traced the worn leather of his grandfather's jacket, now bearing scuffs from an alien world. Rahim chuckled softly. If only the old man could see him now. Outside, the twin suns were just peeking over the horizon, casting long shadows across Lysander's property. Rahim breathed deeply, trying to commit every scent, every impossible color to memory. One last tour? Lysander's melodious voice startled him. It's funny, he mused. I was so desperate to leave when I arrived. Now the, uni the universe has a way of changing us, doesn't it? As he walked towards the field, Rahim's mind raced. Rahim nodded, heart pounding. He took one last look at the alien sky. Now that's better. That's better. It definitely needs some uh, cleaning up, but that feels like a more organic way. That's how I figure out a scene. Now I can take that, maybe even that and the one before it, combine the two. All of a sudden, you've got yourself a scene that you can really craft any way you want. My name is Ikello Herod. This is the Future Fiction Factory. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because YouTube likes the YouTube. I will, I will, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.